What's up? My name's Andy. I am the creator and semi-host of the Daily Nugget at dnugget.com. This is our inaugural podcast uh, for May 3rd, 2010. It's the maiden voyage. It is. Uh, it is Food Monday, and I think this is a great place for us to start because uh, I'm, I love food. Uh, it's just as simple as that. I also have uh, college friend Sam who really helped me out with my love of food by feeding me through college. I He's sure calling did. in as well. Thank you for joining us today, Sam. You're very welcome. And I have my brother here, which I don't know if he ever eats food because he's really skinny. Skinny, so. skinny, skinny. He's got to look good for the ladies. <laughs> Not that skinny. He's got that whole Michael Phelps thing where he, I think he eats just the most the most garbage, but then he works out. And he has humongous ears, too. Or maybe not. Michael Phelps, not me. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Yeah. All right. For it, it, my freshman year of college, uh, I was not very smart. And instead of, uh, you know, stocking food just in case, you know, I had like the full food, full meal plan. Uh, one night I got, <laughs> I had a few little emergency things. And in the middle of the night, one night, I woke up and I was super hungry. And so all I had was in the pantry was, um, a big box of uh, Rice Krispies and a jar of peanut butter. So I do what any, you know, MacGyver-like person would do in the middle of night when you're really hungry, is I stuck my hand in the peanut butter jar and then stuck it into the Rice Krispies jar and then just ate the peanut butter and Rice Krispies off my hand. That's... And that's just kind of, you know, where I am. No one one woke up, because that would be a sight to see. (laughs) Coming at three in the morning. It's creative. I'll give you that. my roommate just going to town on his hand. So that's just kind of where I come from when it comes to food. I'm not ashamed to eat anything. Uh, which is why I was uh, really excited when KFC decided to say, you know what, we don't care what people think about us, and release something called the Double Down. Uh, oh, no. Have you guys had this yet, the Double Down? I have not. Oh. You ate it live on your radio show. On my other, yes, my, my real job, my, my day job uh, at the House FM. Uh, what it is is it's instead of having um, pieces of bread, uh, we get rid of the pieces of bread and we just have pieces of meat. So it's a piece of fried chicken, and then it's like cheese bacon. stuff. And bacon, other things in the middle, and then it's another piece uh, of, uh, of chicken breast that's so fried. If you're on a low carb diet, oh, it's well. I mean, the other thing that's fried, you can get it grilled. Breaded, too. isn't it though? Yeah, well, you can get it either way, breaded or unbreaded. But actually, oh, yeah, fun facts about it: it's actually not the worst thing out there for you. Um, things that are monstrously worse for you: uh, Wendy's triple baconator. <laughs> I have I have Three to be times. honest with you. That is one of my favorite sandwiches ever. But if I eat it, I need to make sure I'm near a bathroom. <laughs> I was about to say, Dave, isn't that whenever we go by that, don't you call the diabetes explosion? <laughs> it's called the diabetes <laughs> explosion. That's actually uh... that's awesome. That's I wish I could take credit for it. That was off of uh, I think some Comedy Central show. <laughs> I think it was like Daily oh, Show, but great. it was I loved it so much. Yeah, it's about three times as worse for you as the. Uh, the double down. So there are worse things. Also among three times them, uh, is worse, huh? yeah, about three times. Also among the uh, the the worst is the Hardee's Monster Triple Thick Burger and Burger King's Quad Stacker. <laughs> so all those things that have in common is pretty much a lot of bread, a lot of meat, a lot of bacon. That's awesome. So, so you could do worse, definitely. Yeah, just wear your well, buffet th- pants if you're gonna. I think I've had I think I've had the Monster Burger before when back when um, the restaurant was called Hardee's, and if I remember correctly, there was almost a layer. Of, uh, almost a full layer of uh, mayonnaise on that as well. Okay. Gross. I don't know if the, the website you're looking at, Dave, talks about how many calories are in the double down. I believe it's like 500 something. 500 or 600, yeah, which is actually on the light side for single sandwiches that can really uh, get it up there. Like the triple. I'm going to look up the Wendy's triple bake data right now. <laughs> now. That is ridiculous. Now, you know, so, so it's 500, not, not too bad considering what a lot of fast food places are. Now, Sam, you and I both love IHOP. It's true. We Have do. Have you seen the canoe commercials for their pancake cheesecake sandwich sort of <laughs> yes, thing? Yes, those look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing you'll notice is when you go to IHOP, they always have wonderful things like this. They always seem like they have a lot of calories, but you never know because there's you know there's never any place to look. But apparently, um, there was some investigations done about what a regular combo meal with that, which is the pancake stackers, which is. Uh, you know, two pancakes, and in between is this cheesecake-like filling. <laughs> oh my and uh, oh, man. Okay, so you've got the pancake stackers with strawberries, two eggs, bacon, and hash browns. That itself is 1,250 calories. Holy cow. That's like more than half a day's, like, daily 
a lot of well, limiters. to be fair, the two thousand they recommend is pretty much based on like a, a like a diet. So that's like if you eat that much, you're you're kind of on the right track. But if you're a guy who's actually moving around, doing stuff, exercising, yet taking a whole bunch of more of account, but still having this as one meal a part of your day is probably not the best way to start your day. They really don't apologize for it. So they were asked, you know, they said, you know, um, this thing you've got out, 1,250 calories, almost half the cal, more than half the calories that people are supposed to take in. And um, the uh, senior vice president of marketing at IHOP said, it's an opportunity to give our guests another reason to come into IHOP. So they don't, and, and never be able to leave no. under your own weight. <laughs> We're gonna have to roll you out with a dolly. Oh my goodness! I'm yeah. surprised they haven't just gone to the rolling chairs I, yet. I hop sponsored weasels. You know, give everyone little more prize scooters. <laughs> it would make a lot more sense. Well, this is the first. This has uh, been the first podcast for DailyNugget.com. If you love it, tell your friends. If you hate it, tell your friends too. And uh, uh, please, Listen, keep- they're cool. We're funny. <laughs> We're pretty. Hey. And, and we're trying, and that's really what matters. That's at least like 90% of it.